Whether you are a marine engineering student or a seafarer who wants to become chartered, the Institute of Marine Engineering Science and Technology is there to help its members sail through their careers. Our reporter Robin Ross visited IMARES's biennial submarine race to find out more. More than 100 engineering students from all over the world gather in Portsmouth for a fun but very important competition. Go, go, go. The European International Submarine Races challenges teams to design and build the world's best human-powered sub with the vision of inspiring the next generation of marine engineers. The actual finished product that we have here, a human-powered submarine that takes five people to launch, probably isn't going to revolutionize the transportation industry but the, the bits that go into it and all the skills that we learn along the way and individual sections of the submarine actually are quite applicable to some of the, the top problems that are happening in the marine industry today. Many have spent nearly two years designing their subs. Now they are being put to the test. Up until now, most of the students have only had the chance to try their subs out in your average swimming pool. This is a completely different kettle of fish, 122 metres long, 61 metres wide and containing 40,000 tonnes of water. The competition is organised by the Institute of Marine Engineering Science and Technology, a membership body for all marine professionals. It has 50 branches across the world and 18,000 members. It works closely with intergovernmental organisations to help shape global regulation in the marine sector but its main job is to inspire future marine professionals and support their career development. Standing here in front of HMS Victory, there's obviously quite a lot of heritage behind me, a tremendous feat of engineering. What we want to do is ensure that sort of uh, technology and engineering is taken forward into the future so we can contribute towards economic sustainability uh, and the environment. Professor William McGill is race director of the competition. I'm having a ball. This is working. Yeah, and this is, this is what we worked for two years to have this kind of fun and see these students really uh, learning to be uh, engineers. He's also been a member of IMRS for 10 years. It awards professional qualifications and helped him to gain chartered status. I was a beginning lecturer moving into the professorship. From my case it was about applying for grants, it was about that standing of proving that I'm a professional and that I know what I'm doing. And those at sea are also helped. So we can recognise their certificates of competence, both deck and engine, as equivalent to master's level learning, which helps them attain a, a chartered status. We've also invested in an e-learning business so they can actually study at sea and improve their skills and education uh, before they come shoreside. There's a skills gap in the industry. 90% of businesses within the maritime and oil and gas market are struggling to recruit professional engineers. And 71% of businesses believe that graduates are not suitably qualified for work on leaving university. We need to attract the best and the brightest and make it easy for them to do their jobs. And that's where institutes like um, the IMRS come into play to help, help you have that professional development that will help keep this business going and moving into the future. This competition is all part of a campaign to get young people enthused about jobs such as oceanographers, marine lawyers, naval architects and underwater photographers. One key thing is our See Your Future campaign which is there to inspire school children to get them engaged in marine uh, engineering science and technology sorts of activities and support them through their student, apprentice or cadet time into their early stages of the career to hopefully retain them within the marine and maritime sector. The Institute offers free membership to students. It's really good having to uh, participate in events organised by organisations like IMRS that uh, show you what is needed in industry. So then you can actually relate what is needed in industry to what you're actually learning in university. And the competition appears to have hooked at least one fish. I just want to work on fun, challenging projects in the water. Really anything to keep me moving and working on the cutting edge projects in the marine industry is what sparks my interest. The winner of the competition was the University of Auckland with their fin powered sub. The team was made up of a physicist, a mechanical engineer and three bioengineers, highlighting the knowledge and teamwork needed to keep the marine industry afloat.